We were not quite sure what to do in Nassau. I had been to the port before and I'd found it quite overwhelming with people haggling to get me to go on the tours when I just wanted to wander around by myself. As we had credit as part of the deal when we booked our cruise with Celebrity, we decided to take the tour to Pearl Island. We met with our tour group and walked about five minutes to our boat that would take us to the island. I have to admit, I thought the island was closer and the journey was a little longer than I had thought. When we arrived, we went to check out the lockers, but they were out of order, so we opted to keep our things with us. We decided to head over to the beach. It wasn't too busy and after a little while we practically had the beach to ourselves. I think everyone went to the restaurant to get their food. Another tour arrived from a carnival cruise and the beach got rather busy, so we thought it would be a good time to go get our lunch. The restaurant is located right in front of the lighthouse. Each person got a token for their lunch at the beginning of the tour. There was chicken and fish on offer. The rice was really delicious, but it's not like the buffet on the ship where you can just go back and get more and some people were disappointed that they could only have one portion. After we ate, we decided to check out the views from the top of the lighthouse. This is where the people who did the snorkeling tour met. We brought two of our own snorkels, so we didn't book it. Over there you can see Pigs Bay, where people who had booked the Swimming with Pigs tour went. So here you can see the length of the island. You can see the beach over there on the right hand side that we went to earlier. And the restaurant is just down below us. As the beach was rather busy, we decided to go further down the island to see what it was like. It was so much calmer, with little areas for kids to swim, games and other areas just to chillax in. We even found there was snooper on offer, but as my son was too young, we decided to snorkel together and just use one of the island's snorkeling gear. So we were just snorkeling here um, behind me and Alex had a life jacket on, I didn't, um, but Alex 
swallowed a bit of water in his mask, quite a bit he says, and he panicked. So then I went over to him and then I tried to grab a rock so that I could help him. We were on our way swimming back, we were actually okay, but the lifeguards jumped in and I just want to say they were quick as anything and thank you. I was a little confused when I seen the lifeguards swimming towards us. He thought I was drowning when I put my hand on the rocks when I was actually trying to pull Alex over so that he could fix his snorkel. After that ordeal, we hung out with the lifeguard's pets and chilled out until it was time to head back to the boat. On the way back, the staff on the boat pointed out lots of famous people's houses and apartments that you could rent out for a fine price. The journey back seemed so much quicker and we were back in the port in no time. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.